to Heart to Heart. This is Karen Conrad, and I'm her husband, Dave. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, we're really excited about you being with us today because we're going to talk about connecting promises. This is kind of like promise power. It is. Taking it to the multiplication factor, boom, <laughs> in your prayer life, which we love promises, but this is going to be a little bit of a combination thing. Yeah. And we're excited about this, and we want to thank you for taking the time to join us. And also, uh, take a moment and like this, or share it with somebody yeah. that you know that would enjoy this as well. And we'll, this will be great. Yeah, that'd be great. And if you want to just get updates, you can go to karenconrad.net and subscribe. And we'll actually send you an email every Thursday to let you know about the new episode. And usually we've got like a download, something free in there and more teaching as well. We've got a lot of things happening at Karen Conrad Ministries and Heart to Heart is one of my very favorite. Yeah, and one of your favorites might be the pumpkin bread recipe, which is available <laughs> yeah. now. So go yeah. download that too. We have all sorts of things out there, don't we? <laughs> that's right, that's right. Okay, so we're talking about um, this idea of promises. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, one of the things we've learned is just studying the word, you've probably run into this too, but when we pull the promise out of the box when after our workout and we go over that, we'll read the verse and oftentimes we're like, wow, that sounds just like another verse. And so we start to connect the verses. Mm -hmm. And so it might bring something in remembrance or if you're reading it in your Bible and you look in the margin, oftentimes it'll tell you the verses that actually connect to the verse because mm -hmm. the word of God, oh, yeah. you know, it's, it's consistent throughout all the Bible, all the books of the Bible. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And we have a verse to share today as an example. Yeah. This is Jeremiah 33, 3. And this is the verse that says, call to me, talk with me, and I will give you insights. I will show you things you didn't know about, things that were actually hidden. Yeah, and when we prayed that that day, it was so awesome. We just, we heard that, and it's like, it's something that we've known, but there's something about pulling that verse, reading it, mm -hmm. and then we just prayed into it, and we're like, Lord, we know this week you are going to show us things, and we even extended it to our family, our children, uh, that you're going to show us things, because it brings that faith and assurance that there's things that the Lord wants to reveal. He's not hiding things from us, He's actually kind of a hiding them from for us. Exactly. It's a big difference there. That's right. And this is like a treasure hunt. So if he's shown you things that are hidden, just think all the things that are hidden are for your benefit. And they got to be good things because they're from God. So think of it as a treasure hunt. And then we put that verse together with John 15. Mm -hmm. And in John 15, 5, Jesus said, I don't call you servants for a servant doesn't have any idea what's going on. But I am now calling you friends for all things that I've heard from my Father I make known to you. So mm -hmm. think of this. Jesus is saying that friendship is the key to revelation. Yeah. When you're a friend with God and you're experiencing mm -hmm. Him, it allows the revelation to come. Yeah, <clears throat> and we experience that when we have friends come over or in our household. It's like as you have discussion with each other and you're building on ideas, it's a two-way communication. And that's what prayer is. That's what God wants in our life. He's after relationship. And so mm -hmm. he's very interested in what we have to say uh, as, as much as us listening to him. Mm -hmm. That's right. And it's wonderful that Jesus puts all this in the context of friendship, like mm -hmm. his terminology is friend, it's um, son or daughter, yeah. a joint heir, mm -hmm. and that's beautiful. It is. It's awesome. Okay, so today uh, we'd like to just pray into that area of the whole hidden treasures to be revealed to you. Yeah. And with that reminder that it's the truth that sets us free, yes. and God's truth is always good, and He helps us, and He empowers us for success in life, success in every area. Yeah. Do you want to pray? You want me to pray? I want you to pray. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jesus, that friendship, that you've told us that friendship opens up the dialogue, and that the Father is expressing through the Holy Spirit, active in our lives, and through our personal, intimate friendship with you, we can hear we can see, we can understand. Thank you that you give us the ability to see 
You actually give us the ability to hear and understand your precious words. And I thank you um, that there's hidden things that are beautiful for each person to discover the goodness of God in their life. And we just thank you for blessing them and releasing those things in their life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. As we say amen, before I, I know the closing comment, if you if you've had an experience that you'd like to share with us, please uh, write us a comment. Let us know about yeah, that. Yeah, let us know. Yeah, we're gonna we're excited about that just to get the two way communication going with you and um, partnering together on heart to heart and experiencing God. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you next time on Heart to Heart.